any government agent or politician or dirty cop or medical person that stole any of my sperm or blood, they must get prosecuted. These people and their fabrications of their uh, satellite games and their diseases that they tried to put on me. Hello, CDC, why aren't you prosecuting these politicians? Government people that have AIDS or HIV that have tried to murder me, that tried to steal my mother and father's estates. People that tried to steal monies and these people that got HIV or AIDS wherever they got it from. They didn't get it from me, I don't have no disease. But these people that have done these things have tried to steal my wealth claiming that their people had AIDS. And since they had a disease and they claimed that their life was shortened by their disease, they thought that they claimed that they thought rich people owed them a good lifestyle. Or people that came from wealth, or people that came from uh, wealthy families. You know, this is total BS that the dirty government has tried to play this game of stealing from me. Oh, and another thing. In reference to my mother's house on Ditch Road, when uh, Frank and his people entered into the house, they had beat up on my mother in the house on Ditch Road before. We need that publicized in the media and which people was there. You know, my mother was there at the house. I don't know if there was a, a maid or a butler there too, but but I wasn't there at that time. But Frank and his people had entered the house on Ditch Road, and they had stolen a menorah, a Jewish menorah, from the property. And I don't know what they. I guess they were trying to pawn it or something. And then these people tried to break into my mother's houses that she had in Geist Reservoir or something where they were trying to pawn the furniture and things that they stole out of the houses. Look up that information. Or they, these people tried to pawn the menorah they stole from my mother's mansion, which my mother built that mansion with my allowance or something, with my money. And the government has been blocking me from that mansion. So we need that information in the news media, if, you know, what's going on with that situation. So in reference to the situation, that needs to be publicized in the media. And which people was there beating up on my mother. And we need the uh, reason why any of these people claimed they thought my mother owed them money. Or why they thought these people thought that my father owed them money. Or they thought that I owed them money. These are the hostage holders that are doing this shit need all the information, all their accusations, all their fabrications, all their fucking demands on the fucking record. It's never signed, never, never gave, never, never sold, never, not, never, and that's the way it's always going to be. Not, never. Oh, and that satellite man knocked me down, plus I fell down at work. But anyways, never received any compensation yet. Long story. But that satellite man had tried to trip me several times. But, you know, it's a long story. Some people know the information of what happened. And the boxes fell on me and stuff. Anyways, long story. But, uh, Labor Board, I don't know if you understand this or not, but people attacking me from satellite on jobs or people trying to murder me on jobs is endangerment. And people blocking me from my trust funds, people blocking me from my uh, compensation or benefits is more attempts of murder and crimes of government. You know that, right? Do you have the document that says why I wasn't supposed to have to work? First of all, I was supposed to have lifelong benefits from when I got injured when I was a little boy and I was in a coma. Because my parents were the two richest people in America back then. The government was supposed to get sued and they were supposed to pay the lawsuit because the government saw the evidence that their agents had injured me and they had injured my father and they, they had tried to injure my mother or something too. But I was in a coma for years, you know. So in reference to... Uh, the government's violation. And the, these smart-ass men keep saying shit like, oh, that's good. What do you think somebody owes you, you fucking piece of shit? Government man. I'm not your race. I'm not your religion. But your people tried to steal everything from me and my mother and father. 
What is your fucking connection, you fucking stupid fuck? You need to say what your what you think your fucking connection is for why you're blocking me from my mother and father's mansions. You didn't build them. You don't own them. My parents didn't owe you a goddamn fucking thing. And I don't owe you a goddamn fucking thing either. And you're violating my tax-free status. And if the IRS sent the papers I didn't receive them, somebody fucking stole them. Well, I'm supposed to be able to go into a business or a car dealership or a store or something to get to get things written off. You know, like brand new things. Because my parents had house accounts that like the IRS, plus the tax credits that I was supposed to have received. I didn't change and somebody just tried to communicate something like, oh, not under the name Mark Ray. I didn't change my birth name, motherfuckers. It's documented when they kidnapped me. It's documented when they made the fucking fake Greenfield document. It's documented when they damaged my face and teeth and when they broke teeth. Lots of things are documented. They've been burning me today. So in reference to the information, we need the IRS and the Treasury to mention why I wasn't supposed to have to work. Unless I wanted to do something for fun. Such as being in movies or TV. And I'm supposed to get paid too. You know, paychecks and monies. But in reference to, you know, look at the information. You got it on record right there.